Okay, there we are. I think we are live. So hello everyone, my name is Brittany. I'm with Premium Pets and we have Caleb with Suzy CBD Treats. Uh, today's Friday, so we're excited that we made it through the week. We have um, some fun questions and topics that we're gonna go over today. Um, it's been spirit week at Premium Pets. I don't know if I told you that too. Yeah, so fun. every day this week we've done something um, different. And like I said, I feel like there's a holiday for every day of the year now. <laughs> so we did like um, peanut butter day. It's right. national like CBD month. So that is why we're really excited to talk to you about Susie's. So with that, I think we've got some people watching. Um, if anybody has questions throughout our session, please put them in the comments. We can see them and we would love to have some interaction with you as well. So with that, Caleb, I would love it if you could just introduce yourself and talk to us about um, Susie CBD Treats and how you guys got started. Yeah, absolutely. Like Brittany introduced, my name is Caleb with Susie's. First of all, I want to say thank you for having us uh, on today. We're super excited. We appreciate your support and uh, we're happy to spend some time this fine Friday and tell our story, answer some questions and connect with some other pet lovers out there. Yeah, absolutely. Very excited. So yeah, we are proud to be entering our seventh year in business. Uh, I founded this business with a gentleman named Richard at the end of 2016. And we had a pretty unique origin story. He was actually a family friend mm -hmm. of, uh, of mine and a successful entrepreneur. He started a business called the Breckenridge Brewery in the late 80s. And that became an extremely successful endeavor. And um, eventually that business was purchased and acquired by Anheuser-Busch, who runs Bet Budweiser. Oh, my God. Um, so he approached me and he said, Caleb, you should drop out of engineering school and we should make CBD dog treats together. And um, my entire life had been trying to work towards this college degree, basically up to that point at 20 years old. Uh, both my parents are educators. So, um, how about I finish this degree in two yeah. years and then I'll mall yours. He said, this opportunity is here right now. College will always be there. Think it over. So uh, I thought it over for a little bit. I made the decision to give it a go. I, uh, I told my parents I'd try it for a year. Mm -hmm. I would surely learn something. And if it wasn't going well, I'd go back to school. And here we are seven years later running down the dog treat lane. So clearly, uh, I think I made the right decision there. It's been quite a wild ride for sure. Um, but a really interesting Kind of a unique way to get started. You know, uh, Richard was an inc incredible guy and an incredible mentor. He unfortunately passed away uh, at the end of 2019. Um, but we, you know, we owe our business to his inspiration. It was his idea and uh, his belief in me and my business partners. And he really took us under his wing and he trusted a group of young people to put their heart into this business. And that's what we've done with an effort to try and help animals feel their best. Oh, yeah. Congrats on seven years, by the way, going on into seven years. It's awesome. Thank you very much. It's been a, it's been a hell of a ride, that's for sure. Time flies <laughs> and we've learned a lot, but onward and upward. Oh, yeah. And I feel like our industry is always changing. So every year it's just different. Um, Absolutely. And CBD specifically, there's a lot of uh, variable... <laughs> And fluctuation and you know difficulties that we face due to the somewhat gray nature of it and some of the ambiguity around legal issues and stuff like that so uh we're very grateful to continue to grow and be around and we've seen you know a lot of people came into the space a lot of people exit the space and um mm -hmm. we hope our continued presence is kind of a testament to the fact that we're taking care in our products and how we do things for sure yeah, there's always new development on CBD and new strains and how it benefits pets and, um, you know, just browsing around on your website, too. Like, I saw that you guys have some new products that we haven't even brought in our store yet. I think you have a new product for cats. Absolutely. Um, for UTIs? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, a tincture for that. So you guys are constantly evolving and growing and tweaking your your products and what Absolutely. you offer. So what are so um so for those watching, we have um, the Susie CBD treats in our shop. We have the hearts for the dogs. So yep. the, the biscuits, we have the apple, pumpkin, your original flavor. We brought in your large breed um, nice. recipe with the eight milligrams of CBD. Yep. Um, I think we have some of your cat chews as well. But do you want to talk about some of your other products that you have? Because I would love to learn some more information about um, the other things that you have to offer and see if it'd be good in our store. I mean, I know it would be good in our store. So I just need to know what you have so I can bring it in my store. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we're proud to try and bring forth a line that is full of, you know, innovative products as well as some staples um, and kind of be hitting this mix of, you know, one of the things that we really focused on from the beginning was keeping things simple, focusing on quality of ingredients, um, clearly labeled, easy to digest packaging, um, really put a focus on education and like focusing on dosing and trying to kind of break down that barrier that a lot of consumers might have around CBD products because they're new. So simplicity and high quality and quality were really kind of the two of the building blocks. And then also making sure it was attainable, you know, price point, obviously CBD products uh, can and are somewhat expensive. Um, so making sure they were just simple, effective, affordable, and we would actually get something out there that people could afford to use and benefit. So you mentioned our hearts, which are right here. This was our first product and continues to be seven years in our best seller. Awesome. Um, at 1995, that's the price that the first bag went for. It's the same price it is today. As far as I'm concerned, that'll be the price as long as we run this business. <laughs> Um, no price increases. Yeah, exactly. We're doing everything <laughs> we can to keep it keep it that way. Um, really clean ingredient panel. Very simple. Um, only like five or six ingredients in each SKU. And a focus on where the CBD is coming from. Organic, full spectrum oil. And sorry, I just had our warehouse pop open. Um, <laughs> so this has been our, one of our best selling categories. We do also have some cat products. Like you mentioned, we make a treat and a yep. tincture for cats and just recently came out with this um, UTI tincture. So it's got some additional supplemental ingredients uh, traditionally used to kind of help alleviate some UTI symptoms in cats like cranberry extract, um, marshmallow root and dandelion root. Um, so we blended some of those herbs with our organic full spectrum oil to create this skew here, which uh, we've only had out for a few months and is going really well. Some of the other products we make, we do a CBD infused peanut butter. So oh, we have that too. Yeah, yeah. the peanut super butter. Simple, super simple, just organic peanut butter, which is just blended peanuts uh, that we source from a farm actually in Missouri. And then we mix oh. in our organic full spectrum oil to that. So clean ingredient panels. We also have a few topical products that are really nice. Um, we worked with an herbalist here in Denver back in the day to develop this formula and learn how to make these products. Um, it's a really nice topically to kind of alleviate sores or rashes or discomfort there. Um, and then we do have our line of tinctures, which again, very simple, organic full spectrum CBD oil. We use an organic safflower oil as our carrier oil. And that comes in a range of potency from 125 milligrams to a thousand milligrams and you know tinctures some people say they're a dime a dozen they're obviously prominent in the category but there's a reason that every brand has them and that is you know it's just about the most effective and efficient way you can administer cbd without okay. the rest of the add-ons the treats are a great a great administration method as well just based on the fact that it's familiar, it's kind of easy to administer, dogs enjoy it. Um, you don't have to get into a little pipette and everything, but if you're using this every day, some of our higher potency tinctures are a very cost effective and easy way to control the dose carefully and get the most bang for your buck. So that's kind of an overview of the products we offer. We do have a line of soft chews um, that we spent a long time developing where we wanted to keep the biscuit a little softer 
but not compromise the quality of the ingredients and add any preservatives or fillers in there. And we also make uh, some horse treats, which are really nice. It's one of our favorite one of our favorite items to make because it makes our warehouse smell so good and we all get to eat them off of the line. Um, <laughs> they have rolled oats, organic dried apples and carrots, molasses. Uh, it's almost like a protein bar. They're really good, but uh, not a huge category for us, but we are proud to make sure we at least offer something for it. Yeah. I think I saw you guys had a video and your staff was like eating the biscuits and yep. I mean, I think that's one thing that sets your all's treats apart, you know, from other things on the market. You hit on a lot of, you know, the quality, the safety, um, the ingredients. You guys are carefully selecting for your treats. And so, um, but yeah, when I saw you guys eating it, like, I just had to laugh because we try a lot of things in our shop ourselves. Yep. You know, we're like, hey, like, if we're bringing these in for our pets, then we should be able to eat them too. Absolutely. Every single product we make, we've tried ourselves first. And uh, awesome. I never pictured myself ending up in a position where I had to eat this many dog treats, but here we are. And uh, <laughs> funny at farmer's markets, you know, people are like, no way. And we'll take a yeah. bite. And people are like, you guys are crazy. And then we'll, like, smell these products and they smell a bag of pumpkin. And they're like, this smells like pumpkin pie, which it really does. Yeah. And uh, I come home from work and my roommates are like, man, you smell like a pumpkin pie. <laughs> it's just like, <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Oh, um, so you talked about all your different products and you talked about the tinctures, um, kind of versus the treats. Um, so are the tinctures also like, just, are they like absorbed faster into the body than the chews or is, I just want to like, I guess just want to make sure I understand the difference between like a oh, tincture points. versus the biscuit. They absorb a little bit faster, but that's not, you know, when we're trying to recommend one or the other, that's not really the point that we're highlighting the most. Okay. The thing about the tinctures is you've got a little more control over the dosing. So okay. we've got really nice supplemental literature and we've got a dosing guide that has, you know, there's grad, there's markings on the bulb and the pipette. So 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 and one milliliter. So you know exactly how many milligrams you're getting at every graduation. So you can get a little bit more precise with the dosing. Um, given the four strengths that we have, it's also a really good way to be able to get something that's tailored well towards your size of pet. Um, you know, we have you know little five and 10 pound tiny pups and cats who need these products and they can use the treats, but the tincture is a really nice way to make sure you're giving them uh, the subtle dose that they need as okay. well as giving them it to them in a form that they're easily able to, to consume just based on their size. Um, and then also just, yeah, kind of the, the amount you receive in a bottle. If you buy a bottle of a thousand milligram oil, it's about okay. how many, uh, you know, in a bag of hearts, there's 80 milligrams total. So you're getting 12 bags worth of CBD content in a single product. Okay. So just really in terms of, say you have a 120 pound dog, and you want to administer 10 milligrams a day, you get a hundred servings instead of right. running through a bag of treats, you know. It's going to last a lot longer. It's going to last a lot longer. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and more accuracy with the dosing. Yep. We, one way that we often kind of bill it, especially when people are new, is the treats are a great way to give it a shot if you're new. It, price point, right. super attainable, $20. Right. Familiar, you know, everyone's used to giving their pup a treat. Um, and you should be able to tell if it's making a difference, right? If it's having the intended effect. So this is kind of a nice introductory level. Okay. And then if you say, this is something I totally am seeing positive results with, I want to introduce this, you know, continually to my, to my dog's regimen. Tinctures can definitely be a good way to say, all right, this is going to be something to get in the morning, every morning, every night, I'm going to transition to a higher price product, but I know I'm ready to commit to that now. Yeah. Yep. And then we do also have customers who, you know, the treats are awesome. They're super high quality. Their dogs love them. And mm -hmm. they're just, this is what I want to use because my dogs love them and they're working great. And they just stick to that and run through bags of Susie's, which we love too. <laughs> so when you're giving the oils, the treats are like easy for people. Like you said, it's a good introductory. So I get it. You give your dog a treat, the CBD will start to take effect. Mm -hmm. With the oils, do you like put it on their food? Do you put it on like a licking mat? Like what's the best way to administer the tinctures? So really there's a lot of different ways. 
It's kind of whatever you find the easiest with your pet. Um, administered along the gum line, right in their mouth, okay. is a way that it can absorb the fastest. Um, that's how Rachel, my business partner, gives it to her dog. And after years of doing that, Isla totally is chill with it and has no problems with it. It can absolutely be put on top of food, though, too, to avoid okay. that, you know, the difficulty of doing that. A licky mat's a fine option. A lot of people top it on a different kind of treat they might be giving their dog. Um, some people even dip it or top our treats with it to give them like an extra boost of it. Because okay. it's an oil, it really absorbs well with just about any wet or dry um, food or treat. The only thing we don't recommend is mixing it with water because the oil and the water don't mix. Um, gotcha. One thing we've found with cats is oftentimes if you put it on their paws, they'll Ooh. actually take the time to lick it off their paws themselves. So instead of having to try and get them to hold their mouth open or cats can be really picky, yes. um, they're not stoked on having it on their on their pads and they take care of it themselves and lick it clean. So um, uh, that's a good tip. I've never heard that. Yep. The licky mat, which you mentioned, we do see a lot of people use our peanut butter spread with the licky mat and um, like specifically around grooming appointments. You've got kind of the dual effect of the licky mats keeping them occupied and busy while they're being groomed, um, as well as then if they're eating our Susie's C Goes Nuts CBD peanut butter, they're also getting the calming effects from the CBD while being occupied. Yeah. So this question came up in my, my mind, too. The, the tinctures, do they have any other flavoring to them, or are they like a straight CBD oil, or do you add anything else in there for like palatability or to make sure that the pets like it? So um, we have not. It's just oh. uh, we've used this organic safflower oil. It's okay. very minimal taste. The CBD um, kind of center flavor is pretty subtle as well. Okay. And again, that was an effort to just keep it simple. You know, we don't want to, we didn't want to put any of these like kind of fake flavorings or right. like, um, just keep it with as simple of an ingredient panel, keep everything organic as possible. And throughout our, you know, moving into seven years, we really haven't seen that be an issue. You know, maybe a handful of times people say, my dogs don't like the way this tastes or smells, but it's, it's really not been a hindrance for us. Um, the one caveat that is in this new cat UTI tincture, we did mix this with a salmon oil base. So okay, certainly cool. we have seen that cats are the pickier of the two and are more able to detect when something's been altered in their meal. Um, so the salmon oil base has seemed to be a good solution for that. And they are uh, pretty, pretty pro salmon oil for the most part. So our, our main variety of tinctures, no flavorings. This has one, but it's not a flavoring. It's just actually a different base of the oil. Okay, gotcha. Perfect. Okay. Um, I would love to hear about how you guys um, give back and you support a particular rescue group, correct? Um, Absolutely. Or maybe several. I mean, I don't know if you do, if you have a couple or if there's one in particular, but I'd love to know like how you guys partner with other rescue groups. Yeah, it's definitely more than one and it's definitely more than a couple. Um, in 2017, you know, when we were getting started, we really said, you know, like giving back is something that's going to be fundamental to our, to our business. And if we're, if our goal is to make animals, you know, be able to live their best lives, you know, that doesn't stop at just the people who are buying our products. You know, there's obviously a, a huge amount of animals that are in shelters and need homes that also could benefit from these products. Um, so in 2017, we were proud to like donate to our first shelter that we partnered with, which was the Longmont Humane Society here in Colorado, who we've continued to work with to this day. And as we grew, we wanted our, um, the amount that we were able to give back to grow as well. And in 2021, we are really proud to hit a goal of supporting a shelter in all 50 states. Oh, so wow. um, primarily it's just through donating product to them. We yeah. give them bulk oil and bulk treats at no cost to use for the animals that are in the shelter. And yeah, we have a shelter in every single state that we were able to support. And that list is always changing and adding and changing a little bit, but um, you know, giving back to auctions and support events, we also did a really cool thing with um, Best Friends Animal Society um, out of Kanab, Utah. 
and we're one of their premier sponsors um, in 2021 as well, uh, which was really something we're proud of. And we got to go out there and take the team for a volunteer trip where we spent four days volunteering at their sanctuary. Um, Best Friends is a really incredible organization with um, a really important mission of trying to get the U.S. to be a no-kill yeah. area, um, I think by 2030. But really amazing work they're doing. The sanctuary is this beautiful piece of land um, that they've got all these animals that they're working on housing and rehabbing and taking care of. And that was a really fun trip for us, a very rewarding trip to get to go be out there and meet these animals and spend some time kind of getting our hands dirty. And uh, a very rewarding part of the work we do here is kind of giving back like that. That is awesome. I love that you guys have a mission of doing that. And um, and no doubt, like your products are helping those animals and those shelters and rescue groups, you know, that are stressed or maybe they have health issues and are dealing, you know, like that's, that's traumatic being put in a shelter, you know, and um, so anyways, we have a lot of people that come in and they've rescued um, pets themselves and they talk about how their pets have a lot of anxiety um, and so they ask how CBD can help. So, um, so do you want to talk a little bit about um, the benefits of CBD then and how it works and you know, how it can target different ailments that our pets have? Um, like I said, whether it's like pain or anxiety or um, Absolutely. all those things. The two most common questions we get are, why would I give my pet CBD? And then exactly. after we address that one, I say, well, how much to give them? So, um, you know, there's really a variety of answers. And, you know, without a ton of research being out there, brands like us have to be somewhat careful with, you know, what we can claim and what we can't. Um, but empirically and through our customers, we've absolutely seen that the CBD can help mitigate some of the pain that animals feel as they get older. Um, hip and joint issues are super common in our pets. And this is something that we see consumers using it for, as well as, um, and this somewhat surprised us as we first got into it. And now it's super popular, super common reason people buy our products with the anxiety as well. Um, and obviously, you know, there's so many things that can cause anxiety, whether it's situational or chronic, like a thunderstorm thing or separation anxiety every day that mom has to go to work. Um, those, you know, pain and anxiety tend to be the primary ailments that people try and kind of focus on when they're using our products. But we've had this really, you know, through our consumers and through their feedback, we've heard all these incredible stories about people using it for one thing and being surprised that it manifested results in all these other different ways. Right. And, you know, even things such as like, you know, like cats marking their territory, like, um, you know, we certainly wouldn't market our products to say this will keep your your pet from having accidents in the house. But, you know, then it finds out like in a roundabout way, you know, it's anxiety is causing these, you know, these habits. And when you're able to have a product that helps ease some of that anxiety, it has some of these unintended benefits that kind of like come through in other ways. So that's kind of a roundabout answer, but there's a lot of different things that we've seen people use it for. Um, you know, it's just a really nice kind of holistic approach to some of the issues that our pets face that are similar to the issues we face without necessarily getting, going pharmaceutical and going to a vet. And, um, you know, the cost is different and kind of the, the theory behind trying to treat it in a more natural way is just a little bit different than going to get a prescription. Yeah, I like to tell people like it, a common question that we get asked is like, is it safe? Um, you know, so I do. I mean, I like to mention that it's a safe product. Um, it's natural. Um, that's why we really like it. It's a non-pharmaceutical route to go. But um, like with that, I do get asked quite a bit um, if pets are able to take CBD and maybe their prescriptions at the same time if their pets are on something. Mm -hmm. um, so I always tell people like check with your vet, of course, but um, we've had to do that before um, with, with one of our dogs, Raleigh, and we were able to still give him CBD with the prescription that he was on and um, there wasn't any interference with it. So um, that could vary, but um, 
Anyways, I get asked that question a lot too. I don't know if that's a common question you guys It get. is. It is. I mean, I'm glad you brought that up. A, a, I'd say your response of check with your vet, that's exactly the messaging that we have. You know, as without a veterinary background for ourselves, it's not our position to take the, absolutely. You know, if there's any kind of existing medication, we always recommend they check with their vet for safety and potential interactions. Um, but I'm also glad you touched on the safe part of it. You know, is when people ask about these products, you know, say, we're not trying to say this will make your pet live forever, guarantee right. it, any means, but there shouldn't be any negative ramifications. Right. And um, safety is obviously our number one concern. And there is, there's an organization, the NASC, the National Animal Supplement Council. And while there's not a ton of studies out there for efficacy, they have been doing studies in terms of safety. Um, specifically through what they call their adverse event reporting, which we participate with in as well as a member. Um, and what that is, is, well, we're not participating in any studies to really targets joint pain. We and make sure we keep track of any kind of adverse events. And that could be anything from, you know, often the, really the only two kind of adverse events we see are potential lethargy sometimes, or loose stool. So, you know, nothing severe, no. um, but still worth noting. And then the NASC consolidates this data from all of their members and they rank it from like, you know, loose stool. It's an adverse event, yes, but it's like a one in the severity scale, you know, right. with like a five being, I had to rush my pet to the vet. And out of tens of millions of administrations of CBD, there's been like single digit severe adverse events over the last 20 years, according to the NASC's um, numbers or something along those lines. Don't quote me on that, but it's it's really minimal. And their their goal is to prove the safety of it to, again, help companies like us who are trying to do things correctly, um, feel comfortable with what we can tell people and make consumers feel comfortable knowing that the products out there are safe. So. That's really important work being done there. And, you know, eventually, hopefully more studies around efficacy come out. Um, but in the meantime, the studies and the numbers around safety are a great place to start. And as a consumer, you can feel good knowing that it's worth a shot. It can have all these hopeful benefits, but the worst case scenario, it, it shouldn't have any harm. So uh, it's just kind of a good place to be able to tell customers stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, and I liked how you mentioned earlier, like you may be treating or, you know, not treating, you may, you may be giving CBD because um, your pet is showing signs of pain or mobility, but then you don't know like how it could be bringing your pet's body into balance in other ways that you didn't even know. And so I think that's what's really neat about CBD too, is like this, this, it's like creating homeostasis in the pet and it's, it's bringing balance and same, same that it does with us too. Like if people take CBD, so I always, always explain to people like that we have this, you know, system in our bodies and it's, it's triggered by CBD. And yep. So it can, it's like a two way communication. It's taking the CBD exactly like where it needs to go mm -hmm. in our bodies and mm -hmm. it can, help in so many ways, you know, more than maybe we even realize. So, and it, it's hard because pets can't tell us what's going on. Absolutely. And, you know, so it, it's hard to know sometimes. And I also think they um, are pretty resilient, you know, especially cats. Like I think, you know, it, sometimes it can be a while before we realize like how sick our pets really are. So, mm -hmm. um, which, a, oh, go ahead. I was just saying, it's a really interesting, it's a good point you make. And then I also say, it's like, it's interesting because they can't talk and tell us how they feel there. Uh, there's also like this kind of side of like, they're a really good barometer of if it is working. Cause there's yeah. no placebo effect or like, gosh, I'm taking my CBD. I hope it's helping me feel better. I think it's helping me feel better, but like all your dog knows is it's eating a treat, but you know, <laughs> if, their, if their results are visible and tangible, you know, there's, it kind of like erases that doubt where you're like, they're not putting on airs to make me think this product is working. You know, it's just clearly showing me that it's working because of the effects it's having. Yep. Yep. It works. So we, we use it a lot of times situationally. I know you said that there's multiple ways you can use CBD. So you can use it for 
Um, if it's thundering outside, if you're going to a grooming appointment, um, if you're having company over. And I always tell people, you know, um, I always say like, so correct me if I'm wrong, maybe like 30 minutes to an hour before that situation occurs. Would you say that's like pretty accurate with your all stuff too? Yep, absolutely. That sounds great. Okay. And sometimes if it's something like, like 4th of July where we know it's going to be sustained, like loud noises for hours on end. Right. Um, sometimes we'll suggest trying to like front load a little bit more and introducing maybe a smaller amount, maybe like 24 hours in advance and then a little bit more the morning of, and then right around that, like hour to 30 minutes before giving them even like a slightly higher dose. But I think 30 minutes to an hour for a grooming appointment or a car ride right. is perfect. Um, right. So yeah, that's that's a great suggestion for people. <laughs> that's, that's when we've seen like the most success with our pets. Um, so one, like our dog Raleigh is, he hates the groomer. Uh, sorry, Nicole, like he loves you, but he hates being groomed. <laughs> and so he doesn't hate Nicole. He just hates that he has to get groomed. And sure. um, we started giving him the Susie treats because like we could hear him in the other room on the table and we could just hear him. He's a little Shih Tzu. So he's, uh, you know, very dramatic. And um, she called me and she's like, Brittany, I swear, like, I'm not hurting your dog. She's like, I'm not even touching him. He's just on the table. So we learned to give Raleigh some treats before he gets groomed. And like, it, it doesn't make him lethargic. That's a really common question that I get. I'm always like, this does not make them high. They are not Absolutely. like passed out. Like it just brings them to a calmer mindset. It helps their behavior. It helps their mood. All of those things. Um, that's just my personal testimony. Do you guys have any like quick testimonies you want to share before we hop off soon. Yeah, absolutely. That 30 minute mark. So that's all good. We, we talk about, we've been talking about Susie's and our products for seven years. What's, you know, we can talk about it for hours. That's, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. We pulled a few um, testimonies we really like from our website. And yeah, we was on our website, every single product. We're really proud to have earned the hundreds of really positive reviews. And these aren't, no, they're not stuff that we typed up. They're just true testimonials from our customers. And when we are trying to get people to, or when people are asking like, should I give this a shot? You know, we say, obviously we would say yes, but it's our company and these are our products. Um, here are testimonials from our real customers that you can go read and, you know, it really helps kind of earn that trust. Um, so here's a handful from our site. They have great customer service, ship products out fast. And my dog is feeling so much better since we started giving him these treats. He is 11 years old and was having some joint pain. Since starting on Susie's CBD treats, he's moving around much better. Love it. Love to hear it. We appreciate these comments. Um, best CBD products out there. I highly recommend this company for anyone searching for high quality CBD that really has changed our dog's lives. We are so thankful we, we have found these products. We have two beagles with severe separation anxiety, and this has worked wonders. Aww. So there are, you know, there's literally thousands of those on our website. And it's, it's great feedback for us. It helps us feel confident that we're on the right track. We're formulating these correctly. We are marketing them correctly and they're working. Um, and then, yeah, it's great social proof. It's great to earn customers trust. And we just building relationships with our consumers as well as our wonderful retailers, you know, we don't have success without these partnerships, you know, and with, when I say we don't have success, I mean, you know, we're not being able to provide this product to these animals and help them feel better without consumers who care about their pets and want high quality products and retailers who care about stocking high quality products and focusing on education as well. So it's really, you know, it kind of like takes a village to get there and mm -hmm. we're really proud of the relationships we've built. And again, that's, I'd say along with the donation part of our business, those relationships and hearing these stories and seeing pictures and, um, it's the most rewarding part of the business for us. And we always want to hear about people's, it's great to hear about Raleigh, the little Shih Tzu. <laughs> um, let's see if we can get Nelly on the stage. Yeah. Bring our dogs to work. Nelly. Nelly's sleeping right now. Oh, Is Nelly no. sleeping? Yeah. That's okay. You don't have to wake her up. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can see. <laughs> Superstar. Oh my goodness. So this is sweet Nellie, the little noodle. This is Michaela, Hi. our lovely customer service and office. Hi. 
I use <laughs> Susie's before I even started working here. So this is just a dream come true. I'm a living testimonial, if you will. <laughs> yeah, you are. So is Nelly. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is Rachel, my business partner, the brains of the operation, keeps this place running. So uh, it's a pretty fun place to work. And we're really proud of our culture we have and the relationships we've built. Your office looks fun. Like you guys have stuff all over your walls. It's like colorful and you got your pets in there. Yeah. These are cool. These are all letters. Oh my gosh. And cards that customers have sent us over the years. Oh my gosh. And then we oh filled that one up. So we had to make another one. And this is our little memorial to Richard. And that's, that's oh. Susie right there who we named the company after. So we, we wouldn't be here without Richard and Susie. So yeah, it's, it's a pretty cool place. That's another thing that sets us apart from a lot of companies is the fact that we do make everything ourselves. Yeah. And right outside that door, they're making treats, putting them in the bag. Say we're shipping right there. So everything is controlled by us. And having that oversight allows us to really, you know, when I say I know what's in these products, I absolutely know what's in these products because we watched them get made. We made them by hand. So uh, that pretty is cool. Awesome. We'll get to it. Just a quick peek. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh, wow. There it is. It's like the Willy Wonka factory for dog treats. Oh, my goodness. You guys are in Colorado, right? What part of Colorado? Uh, we're in a town called Wheat Ridge. It's just a suburb of Denver uh, right near, right at the edge of the mountains. So a pretty place. Um, I'm awesome. a Denver native and proud to run a business here. And, yeah, it's a cool place to run a business. And, obviously, Denver is a pretty pro-dog city and – yeah, it's cool. You know, we have signs up around the city at dog parks with our brand on them. And we have our Susie's delivery van running all over the state all the time. So <laughs> cool. So cool. Yeah. Well, Caleb, thank you so much for your time. Is there anything else that like you wanted to share, like that you just really like have it on your on your mind to share or something that we didn't touch on? I want to make sure. I don't think so too much. I guess I'd say um We'd reiterate that we have a 100% satisfaction guarantee on all of our products. So if somebody tries it and their dog won't eat it, they don't think it had the intended results, um, you know, no questions asked, 100% refund, and we recommend that they give the products to a friend, you know. So we're confident in our products to that extent, and we really just want to be able to spread these products to as many pets and corners as possible. Um, we want to thank you for your time and your diligence, bringing good products to market and educating consumers, building community. Uh, no, we're an open book. Okay. Call us if you have uh -huh. questions. We have Michaela here on the phone. There's a real person on the other end of the line. If you DM us a picture of your dog, we're in this office gushing over getting those pictures. It's There's not <laughs> some robocaller that you're going to get. It's real people here. We really love to hear from our customers we're happy to answer questions and we really appreciate everyone's support and are excited to continue to do this for a long time that is awesome i for sure want to get some more of those cat products in um Absolutely. right next to our our shop we um there's a new cat cafe that just opened and um so they have all these rescue cats you know ready to be adopted out we're so excited that they're right next to our space Nice. Um, because, of course, all those cat people can just come into our store and get all their supplies and their goodies. Yeah, that's great. Um, so I will definitely be stocking up on some of your cat products as well. And I have three cats myself. So, <laughs> so well, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, we met we met Meg, but I, it sounds like you got a whole farm back there. We'll send you some samples, too. Bring them awesome. some free stuff on us. Let awesome. them try it out. Bring them over to your store once they like it. And uh, the whole thing will just keep growing together. That is awesome. Well, for everyone watching, thank you so much. We know several of you may be watching this as a replay. Um, I put suziespettreats.com in the link so you can check out their webpage. I, I tell everybody, like, do your own research, too. Like, don't just take my word for it. Like, go on their website. Check them out yourself. Um, they've been around since 2016. Um, they're organic. They make safe, all-natural, simple treats. But you should check it out for yourself. Um, if you have any questions, of course, just come in the shop and I can always, if there's something I don't know, I can always um, send it to the Suzy's team. So we just appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for being so transparent about your products and 
we're just so happy that you guys exist and that you're here um, in this space. So with that said, I hope everyone has a good Friday and um, we'll see you guys later. Yeah. Happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Brittany, we'll see you in Orlando at Global Pet Expo. Yes. Okay. Right. Bye. Sounds good. Thank you guys.